welcome to Lamplight Crochet. My name is Laura. I'd like to encourage you to click like and subscribe underneath the video box and support me in this channel. Um, I am going to show you how to make these baby leg warmers today. They are made out of the simple uh, crochet stitch of double crochet throughout the leg portion and single crochet in the cuff area. This project goes really quickly and these make a wonderful Christmas uh, gift for a, a small child or you can just use them for the winter time. All right, so now let's begin. Okay, to begin our leg warmers, we're going to take a yarn wrap it around the top two fingers, cross over, place the hook underneath the first piece of yarn, grab the second one and pull it through, and tighten the slip knot on the hook there. And we want to chain nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now we are going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. The first one is the one the yarn is pulling through. So we start in the next one over and we go under the top strand and we wrap it around the hook, pull it through, wrap around again, pull it through both. That is a single crochet. Let's do that again. We place the hook under the first piece of yarn, wrap it around from the back, pull it through, wrap around again, pull through both. So we're going to do eight single crochet across this chain here. And as soon as we have completed that, we're going to turn and start on forming our ribbing pattern. All right, one more. So we've reached the end. We're going to chain one, turn from right to left. And now this time we're going to place the hook on the back piece of yarn underneath that back piece. So it's called back loop only in a pattern. You'll see it written as BLO. So we're going to place the hook underneath the back loop only, wrap around, pull through, wrap around and pull through both. Again, back loop only, wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through both. Okay, so the next one, we go in the back loop only, wrap around, wrap around, pull through both. So I'm going to continue working in the back loop only across the entire first row here, and I'll meet you back at the end. Okay, we finished the second row here, and I've worked in the back loop only all the way across. So we're at the end and we're going to chain one, then we're going to turn from right to left. And once again, we will work in the back loop only. So we will work a total of 21 rows in the back loop only. And this causes, creates a uh, ribbing effect for the very bottom of the leg warmer. You should have eight in each row for a total of 21 rows. So continue to work to 21 rows and I will meet you back at the end where we will join it as a cuff on the leg warmer. We'll see you there. Okay, we've completed 21 rows across here and each of the rows has eight single crochet worked in the back loop only. You can see it created a ribbing effect. So the next thing we're going to do is bend the ends back and together, okay? So we're going to bend them back and together, place our hook in that loop, and we are going to match up the stitches on the end. There should be eight across. And we're going to place the hook into the front of the first one. All right, and then into the first one in the back. We're going to wrap around and pull through, pull through the front one, and then pull on through for a slip stitch. We're going to continue working like this through the second one, the second one in the back, wrap around, pull through, all the way through, and then pull through again for a slip stitch. Again, through the front, two pieces of yarn on the front piece, through the back two pieces in that stitch on the back piece, wrap around, pull all the way through, and then pull on through 
for a slip stitch. Continue to do this across and then I will meet you back at the end. Okay, we've completed the stitches in slip stitch across the, the edge, edges of the row so that they are now joined. So we come to the end and we're going to turn the piece upright like this and we are going to change the hook to an H hook. We want the leg portion to be looser and bigger. Once we have our H hook in, let's do three chain ups. So three chains. And now we will do a double crochet in every single row around for the leg portion. So we are going to go wrap the, the yarn around the hook, go into this first row right next to the chain three, pull the yarn up, wrap over, pull it through two, wrap over, pull it through the last two. Again, in the next row, wrap around, insert the hook, wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through two, and wrap around, pull through two more. So we will continue to work like this in every single row, and I will meet you back up at the very end. Uh, you will probably find that you have done 22 rather than 21, by the time you reach the end. So after 22 rows, I'll meet you back up after we finished the first portion of the leg. Okay, we've reached the end of the first row of the leg portion. So we are going to join in the top of the chain three, the very first chain three that we made there. So let's put our hook in there, wrap around, pull through and pull through again. That's a slip stitch. We're going to chain up three, one, two, three, and work on into the next stitch. There will be 22 double crochet all the way around this legging piece. This is row one right here of the double crochets. We're going to work on row two now, and we're going to, going to go for a total of 10 double crochet rows. So I will meet you back up at the end of 10 double crochet rows so that all we have to do is put on the very top of the legging and we are completely finished. So here we go, one double crochet in each stitch around and I will meet you at the end of 10 rows. All right, I've reached the very end of my 10th row of double crochet. So if you count up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're at the very top, and now all we want to do is single or slip stitch all the way around the very top in order to finish this piece off. And the trick to doing this is to do it very, very loosely. We do not want to pull the top any tighter. It should be loose up there. So uh, we will not uh, single crochet, I mean, we will not chain at the top of this, all right? We will just leave it. So we just finished, and I pulled it on through as a slip stitch as a join. I will go into the next stitch, wrap around, pull through, and pull up if you need to, but make it very loose. Next stitch, wrap around, pull through, very loose, okay? All the way around to finish this piece off, and then we will have completed the second leg warmer here. I'll meet you at the very end. Okay, I've reached the very end of the finish off row, which is slip stitch only all the way around. So I'm going to slip stitch right back into the first stitch in order to make my very last stitch. Then we will cut the yarn, oh, four inches or so up, pull it on through like this, and then we will take a yarn needle and go down into the inside and weave in the end into the inside so it's unseen and clip it. So we have two leg uh, warmers here for a nice little set of, uh, they could either be Christmas leg warmers or just a red pair for a matching red outfit. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to click like and don't forget to click subscribe so you don't miss any of my new projects. Thank you for joining me. We'll see you next time. Thank you.